we just got back from seeing John Carter of Mars. Our initial thoughts. I like this movie. I I thought they did a very good job on it. Um, it was full of this pulpy goodness. And in a lot of places, you wouldn't expect that to be a good thing. But this is an Edgar Rice Burroughs story. It should be full of pulpy goodness when you get down to it. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, they did uh, a very good job on the character background um, without without getting too bogged down in it, so you kind of got lost in the background. This movie was very good at showing, not telling. There was no meaningless, you know, worthless exposition thrown in there going, oh, that's what that's there for. No, it's kind of like, they show you and go, that's why it's there. Indeed. As for how well this is an adaptation of the original story, it's been too long. I can't remember the details. And I never read it. Yeah. About the only detail I remember was getting into the uh, Tharks culture and their elaborate system of challenges and weapon hierarchies and all of that. And the fact of the matter is there's no point in putting that in the movie unless you're going to use it as an element. And none of the scenes that they had really used it as an element. So... I'd say they did a very good job on the camera work. They kept the shaky cam to a minimum, and when it was dramatically convenient, you know, it made sense at the time. Otherwise, the print, you know, the general filming was done incredibly well. Um, your pan shots didn't blur out, uh, which it's good to see movies actually realizing that that sucks, and avoiding it, and making sure that you have a clear, consistent frame. And uh, the, mov the movie and the cinematography goes back and forth between this more modern sensibility and these moments of cheese. Not cheese in the bad sense, cheese more in the homage sense. Um, there is a fight scene between one guy who's essentially flying around and John Carter who's jumping around. And based on the way the guy's flying around... It really feels like it could fit in, like, a Flash Gordon kind of movie. You give me a Queen soundtrack and it would be a Flash Gordon yeah, movie. Yeah, but with a much better budget. So, I mean, it, it was done well. In fact, that would be the one... If, if you were to take this movie as a whole, it was good. Not a B movie, because they gave you enough backstory. You know, this is kind of more of an of a, you know, A-budget movie. This is not going to win any Oscars. We're not kidding anybody here but yeah the acting was, was solid but not if there was one thing that was left out probably till the end for budget reasons and i'm probably going to step on somebody's shoes we're both going to do that on whoever composed the music that was probably the most lackluster part of the whole movie is the music was good yeah it's but beautiful music but it's very generic beautiful music like, eh. i mean you heard it but it didn't take you away, you know, bl uh, you know, blow you away going, this music is awesome. Had it had that, it probably would have taken the movie from, like, here and gone, like, you know, stick it up another level. Um, um, like I said, characters, solid, nothing to write home about. Character that stole the show. The dog. Well, the, the Mars dog. And he doesn't dominate the movie. And if you go to the movie, you're not going to think that he's, he's stealing all the scenes. But you there's... will love every scene he is in. Yes. Such personality. They did a great job. Actually, if anything, the uh, the computer animated characters actually do a slightly better job with their emotion and uh, their ability to grab you than the regular characters do. Well, that that's pushed up a notch just because they got the essence of a dog in a computer animated dog. Yeah. Um, it's funny because the Thark is dead. I I would highly recommend that you go see this. Um, as for, you know, fun things to look out for, um, I really only have one. Um, while watching the movie, um, on Deja's, this is the princess's right shoulder, right about here, just, just take a look and remember who made this movie. Oh, boy! Don't tell me! <laughs> Um, <laughs> other fun stuff, uh, definitely the dog, um, let's see, Carter, Carter learning to, uh, jump was, was great, but... Jump good. Yeah. 
Uh, the the nod to Edgar Rice Burroughs was really nice, um, especially if you pick up on it when they initially say his last name. Uh, but yeah, great movie, a lot of fun. Definitely glad that I went. So. This is the Brother Sermon. I'm Albatross. I'm Ram Nessus. And Sign until next time, we'll be signing off.